Well, I remember, you know, you're so big on the props. Uh, I remember on the show you had the Viking hat. Yeah. What 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 led up to the Viking hat? What made you pick well, up that Viking hat? Well, I was hat down. So you had to rock we this. we public enemy. We had a gig in Philadelphia, and um, I used to always go out and get props for my show, because I'm the only one in the show that goes and changes and shit and come back out and all different kinds of shit. Chuck and everybody else, they just stay the same. You know what I'm saying? So I had got this Viking helmet that I seen and also an Indian headdress, an Indian war warrior chief headdress and everything, you know what I'm saying? Um, the Indian warrior headdress, Vlad, that's what I wore for the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. We wasn't inducted yet, but we had to play there. And when I wore that headdress in Cleveland, I got so much flack because the Indians, they felt, they felt like they were being picked on or some shit. You know what I'm saying? But little did they know, Flavor Flav is a Native American too. I have Indian blood in me and my family comes from the Shinnecock Reservation, Eastern Long Island. And so does LL Cool J's family. They come from the Shinnecock Reservation, Eastern Long Island. My father's mother was Estelle Maud Smith. Also, LL Cool J's last name is Smith. I got a feeling LL might be my cousin, just to let you guys know. And I tell everybody this. You know what I'm saying? I hope I'm not taking you too far or whatever. Nah. You know? Okay, so so that's where the, the Viking helmet came from. Yeah, the Viking as... helmet came from me being in Philly and me just getting props for my shows, you know, for the Public Enemy shows. I used to wear that stuff on the stage. So next thing you know, I just started wearing the shit on TV and it became part of me. No, well, you're saying? still rocking the the clock. I sure and that came way before. Yes. Uh, how did who, who the, gave you the idea to put a giant clock? Um. Your... Well, back in the days, Vlad, we used to wear stopwatches as a fad. That was the fad, you know. It was the style. One day, this crackhead came through our projects, and we were playing the dozens. And me and my, and my boy, son of Berserk, Tony Allen. He took the stopwatch off of my neck and put the clock around my neck. Everybody started laughing. Ah, ha, 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 ha. Okay, it was funny. They dared me to wear this clock during a show. Now, back in them days, if you dared Flavor Flav to do something, I would do it. So they dared me to wear this clock during a show. So when we went and opened up for the Beastie Boys in Passaic, New Jersey... I wore the clock during the show. When we got the newspaper clippings back the next day, we were on the front page of Daily News and Newsday, right? The look of the clock was dope. So I decided we decided to keep to keep this look. Now also, if you go to the early public enemy pictures, Vlad, you will see. Chuck D. Wall clock too. Right. Well, Nation of Millions, the, the cover, he's wearing a, a smaller clock. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, we used to wearing always wear while. clocks for the show. That was this was a part of our, you know, part of our wardrobe for the show. Then one day Chuck D, he took his clock off. And Hank Shockley is like, Flav, 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 man. You need to take that clock off, man. It's getting old. It's out of date. I'm like, Nah, man, I'm not taking my clock off. I'm keeping my clock. One of the best decisions that I could have made, Vlad. You know what I'm saying? Because this clock became part of my identity. You know what I'm saying? Not only that, but this clock has got me into a lot of trouble. But it has also gotten me out of a lot of trouble. You know what I'm saying? There was a time, man. When I was on a on a on a Southern State Parkway in New York, 
I'm in my Corvette, 55 mile an hour zone. And I'm going down the fucking highway, G, doing 163 and shit. You know what I'm saying? I passed the cops. Next thing you know, I look in my rear view mirror and the cops are way, 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 way back there. So I pulled over on the grass to wait for them. And when they got up to my vet, when they finally got up to my vet, man, they got out with the guns drawn and everything. I was like, yo, 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 officer, officer, come on, don't shoot, don't shoot, it's Flavor Flav. They was like, oh, come on, Flav, man, putting their gun back. Come on, man, you're going too fast out here, Flav. Where's your license, Flav? Well, I don't have a license, officer. Come on, Flav. Look, listen, this is what you do. Here, give me your autograph for my daughter. Let's take a picture. And then after that, Flav, I'm going to let you go. But if I see you out here tonight again, Flav, I'm taking your car. Who gets out of shit like that, Vlad? <laughs> Come on now. I'm in a 55-mile-an-hour yeah. zone doing 163. If it wasn't for this clock, man, them cops would have shot me or either locked me up, whatever. So this clock has gotten me out of a lot of trouble, too.